plant friends welcome back to my channel planty princess 92 my name's Ashley and because I've been doing tons and tons of unboxings lately I wanted to throw in something a little bit different so today I have two plants here I have my philodendron Brazil Rio and then I have my pothos snow queen I believe um, either way, I have a philodendron and I have a pothos and I wanted to explain to you uh, the differences between the two. I wanted to give you some very distinguished characteristics on how to tell these two apart. These two are both very popular, very common houseplants uh, nowadays and they're very frequently having their names used interchangeably. So to start off, Although these two plants are both in the same family, which is the aeroid plant family, uh, Raceae, they are in two different, completely separate genuses, genres, or how, whatever, whatever they're technically called. The pothos is in the epiprenum family, and the philodendron is in the philodendron genus. So the first and easiest, I should say, way to tell these two plants apart is their leaf shapes. So if I get these two plants up and close for you guys, you will see that they both have two very different shapes, although from afar they do look very similar. So I'll start off with the pothos. The pothos leaf, sh leaf shape is more elongated and less heart-shaped at the top and the philodendron is more round and shaped like a heart so seeing them next to each other that's the main key difference between these two plants secondly also involves their leaves Pothos tend to have larger, thicker, and waxier leaves, while philodendrons have thinner and softer. They have, they have a softer texture to them. So by the feel of the, feel of the leaves, the philodendron is a lot more smooth and the pothos is a lot more waxy. If that doesn't do it for you, when you look closer to the petiole, where the leaf meets the petiole. As I said, when I was distinguishing the difference between the shape of the leaves, if you look really close, the pothos leaf is more straight right at the top, while the philodendron has that really distinct indent that's shaped like the top of a heart. So that's where it's especially noticeable um, on, the, on the leaves. Next we have aerial roots. Pothos generally have only one aerial root, one larger aerial root that comes out per node. So let me find one on the pothos for you. So if you look closely here, each of these nodes generally only has one aerial root, which is right at my thumb there, that comes out per node, right at the tip of my pointer, again at the tip of my pointer, and you can see them go down this vine. While philodendrons, let me find a good one on the philodendron. Philodendrons tend to have several smaller and also more wild, untamed aerial roots that come out per node. You can see them also go down the stem here. Moving on to their petioles. So the petioles of a pothos, they're more thicker than philodendrons. And they also at the tip, let me find one that they're all so close together, which is a good thing. But so if you look at the petiole, which is where what connects the leaf to the main stem, 
it tends to have, it's pretty straight, but has sort of like an indent that points the leaf back towards the plant. Whereas a philodendron, they're very round. They're fully rounded. Fully rounded. Other than that, we have, last but not least, le last but not least, last but not least, we have the growth habits of the new leaves. So a very easy thing to look for is what is called the catafil, otherwise known as the sheath. So that is on a philodendron and is not on a pothos. So that's one other main way to tell these two plants apart. So now if you look on a philodendron and you see these catafils or sheaths, which are basically a reduced smaller leaf that encases the actual foliage leaf to protect that leaf as it grows from the plant. They do stay on the plant. Sometimes they tend to dry up and fall off. You can pick them off after the leaf comes out if you don't like the way they look. It really, it doesn't photosynthesize for the plant. Its only purpose is to really protect that leaf as it forms and grows. So I will also find one of those for you. So here's a good example. Here's a new one that protected this leaf as it's coming out. And then here is a dried up one that will fall off or I can pull it off. If you look on the tip of a pothos, the new leaves just grow from the last leaf. There is no sheath or casing or catafil as they're called. It just grows from the, the previous leaf and forms right into its new leaf. Other than that, the care for these two plants are pretty much very, very similar. They're both very low light tolerant plants, but of course would benefit from higher light. The pothos though is more low light tolerant, whereas a philodendron will get leggier quicker and their leaves will get smaller with the lower light, whereas a, whereas a pothos will still get leggy with low light, but it will take a little bit longer of a time, and their leaves will still generally stay the same size with low light conditions. Um, also, pothos are more, are more drought tolerant than philodendrons are, which makes them also easier to propagate than philodendron. These both are pretty easy to propagate as well, um, but it just makes them a little easier because they are more, it is a more drought tolerant plant. Other than that, these plants really do like the same type of soil. They pretty much have the same type of water requirements, um, both a rich, um, airy mixture would benefit these plants tremendously. They can handle low light and they can handle medium light. They'd benefit the best from bright indirect light and I would say water these two both when the top maybe two inches of soil is dry. So although these plants look very similar, have very similar characteristics and care needs, they are two different beautiful plants. I hope this video helped you determine the difference between the two. I know when I first started out I had no idea how to tell the difference between these two plants. I'd go to the store and if I wanted a green philodendron, I'd go to the store and I'd look at a green pothos and be like, I don't know which is which. I don't know what plant this is. So I finally figured out how to tell the difference between the two and it helped me tremendously because vining philodendrons are really so similar to pothos. Thank you guys again for joining me in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, Every plant's a princess. Bye.